This is a story about Bulstrode, based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey, and read aloud by me, Chris Richardson. This is a story about Bulstrode the Barge. He was a very disagreeable barge who was always causing trouble. Then one day he went too far. One morning, Percy was shunting trucks in the yard. The trucks were being very naughty and refusing to move. Come on, come on, puffed Percy as he pushed them into place. Oh, 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 screamed the trucks as they bumped into each other. Just as Percy was about to give them one last big push, the fat controller arrived. Leave those trucks, please, Percy, said the fat controller. There's an emergency at the harbour. Yes, sir, replied Percy happily. He was pleased that he could leave the naughty trucks behind. Come on, Percy, said his driver. This will be trouble with Bulstrode. Percy had never met Bulstrode and wondered what kind of engine he would be. As they puffed along the line, Percy's driver told him all about Bulstrode. Bulstrode isn't an engine. He is a very disagreeable barge, his driver explained. He never stops complaining and always expects everyone to do what he wants. Percy hadn't met a barge before, but he wasn't looking forward to meeting Bulstrode. Percy's driver was right about Bulstrode. Today the barge was more bad-tempered than ever. At the harbour, he was shouting at the trucks. Come on, come on, why aren't you trucks where you should be, complained Bulstrode. There's no engine and we can't move without one, replied the trucks. You're in the wrong place, not us. Bulstrode and the trucks had been arguing all morning. The trucks had some coal for Bulstrode to deliver, but they were too far from the water to load him up. Bulstrode was being very impatient. He didn't want to wait for an engine to arrive. When Percy arrived, Bulstrode was sulking and the trucks were even more angry than before. Bulstrode is being difficult, complained the trucks. Please put us in a siding, Percy, so that we could load him up and be rid of him. Rid of me, replied Bulstrode. I would have left hours ago if you trucks were in the right place. Percy wasn't happy that he had to shunt trucks again, but he was unhappier still about the way Bulstrode spoke to him. Pah, look at the size of you, laughed Bulstrode. I'd be surprised if you had the strength to move even one truck. Percy didn't like Bulstrode. He wanted to get the job done as quickly as possible. Percy began to move the trucks, but the trucks were being careless. As Percy lined them up, they burst through some buffers. The trucks screamed and laughed as they hurtled towards the edge of the dock. But it was too late. Bullstro could see them coming towards him. And before anyone had time to stop them, the trucks went over the edge of the dock. Oof, cried Bullstrode as the trucks landed on him. I'm sinking. Serves you right, giggled the trucks. You are always budging in and moaning. Blah, replied Bullstrode. His mouth was full of coal. Ha ha, giggled the trucks. You don't have anything clever to say now. Percy smiled. He thought Bullstrode had got what he deserved. The harbour was a terrible mess. There was coal everywhere and half the trucks were on Bullstrode instead of the track. It took a very long time to clear the mess up. Cranky the crane had to lift the trucks out of Bullstrode one by one. The trucks giggled and teased Bullstrode. But Bullstrode was surprisingly quiet. Percy watched as Bullstrode was towed away to the beach. He had caused trouble one too many times. Right, said the workman when they reached the beach. You can stay here from now on. Children can play in you all day. And at long last, you be useful. You can't leave me here, shouted Bullstrode. But the workman ignored him and walked away. 
As Percy puffed along the line to the Fat Controller's railway, he passed Bulstrode on the beach. Bulstrode was already shouting at the seagulls that had perched on top of him. Percy hurried past before Bulstrode had a chance to shout at him. I'm so pleased that I won't have to work with Bulstrode again, thought Percy when he was safely out of his way. The troublesome trucks are naughty, but Bulstrode is even worse.